Well, you guys just saw a short vi video of um, the moringa trees, our flowers, our seeds, and we've been reading and studying more on the well, the nutritious facts of what these um, the seeds and flowers and well, leaves contain, and we just want to um, get this in. People start taking this. Um, they've every, pe people have been starting to order the capsules, the moringa capsules, and um, the leaves dried up um, and put in capsules. And so they've, they've been feeling, you know, more energy and even restoring health in many other ways. So what we're trying to do is um, get the seeds dried and the flowers and put them together with some leaves dried and create a tea. So what we're doing is make these little packets here. This is um, dried, like I said, flower, seeds, and um, leaf in different proportions, of course. And uh, what we're doing is putting about, it's about 30 grams here. And um, we're trying to get this to people so they can get all the nutrients from the, from the seeds and flowers. They, they contain different things other than the leaf also. So, so we thought a way, another way as simple is to make tea. Um, I got it right here about a liter to about, um, you can get maybe a liter and a half out of it too, of warm, well, boiling water pretty much. And you can always, you can always save these when you're done because they're pretty simple. I got one extra one here, kind of rigged up something here with um, a little chain thing. You can always grab a little pin, hook a little string to it. And so, um, what we're doing is uh, putting the the tea bag in here for about 10-15 minutes, liter liter and a half of water. We stir it a little, but let it sit for maybe 10 minutes, stirring it and then pressing it against the side. And you're gonna get like, well, you'll see the color in about 10-15 minutes. And it's um, really really nutritious. You can always store it um, for a couple days in the refrigerator and drink it as iced tea, moringa iced tea. It's pretty good putting some honey in it um, when it's warm or cold just for to give it a little sweet but it's not a not a bitter taste at all it's more of like a leafy um, nutty taste and it's it's really um, uh, nutritious so so enjoy and um, I'll be back in about 10 minutes to show you guys what it's kind of like it's been 10 minutes and you can see the difference in color here it's got like a well, yellowish greenish mix and it's, um, I kind of squeeze it a little bit here just to get a little bit more out of it. And it's ready to take out. Sometimes you got a little bit leftovers in there. You can um, always strain that, but it's not bad to take it, intake it. It's always good for that, so do take it. Squeeze it, and if you need to strain it, always you can just, like I said, you could probably freeze this, but, um, or you can just save it in the fridge for a couple days, but it's better to freeze it. I'm going to put it right here for a little bit later. And what um, I, I'm doing is I put it in a little jug, seal it, uh, put it in the refrigerator, have it as iced tea during a couple days. I put honey in it, of course, if I like it a little bit sweeter. And uh, it also is helping, because it's got flour in there and seed, it's helping also with people with the flu, common cold, you get in a little bit of that. Um, just get your tea and just take your tea, you know, two, three times a day during the day. And um, it's, it's going to be a really good uh, product because it really helps. So, here it is. Your Moringa tea. So, do get some and um, take it. It's, it, can help your health, it can help restore health and also maintain um, your health if you are healthy. Okay.